Well, it's blowing 32 knots here at Gampton this morning. It's not much fun being outside. I'm a little bit worried about that yellow shrimper bobbing up and down on the jetty. I'll go and have a look at it later. Vicar is, of course, tucked up on a trailer for the winter. Uh, but the time has come to have a good look at that mast, work out what needs doing. So let's go on with it. So back here in the warm and dry, let's have a good look at it. Masthead light lens missing, that came off of Berry Head last summer. This mast band worries me a little bit. I don't know what's going on underneath it. They are prone to mast rot underneath there. Um, got quite a bit of damage here where the throat halyard has obviously been rubbing, or rather the shackle on the throat halyard. And as you can see, the, the varnish is just blown completely. Didn't look this bad when I put it away in August. Um, but of course, the, the mast's been sitting under that tarpaulin at Galton. Clearly got a bit more damp and uh, starting to blacken. It looks really bad. In fact, it looks a lot worse than it, it actually is. Obviously, that eye bolt needs replacing. Um, the rest of the galvanised fitting is not too bad, just needs cleaning up. The base of the mast hmm, needs some work. Again, Varnish just blown, wet wood underneath. But this isn't structural, this isn't really too deep. Um, again, looks a lot worse than it is. So starting at the top, that um, light fitting clearly needs replacing, it's broken. I need to uh, have a look at what's happening underneath there. So that light fitting is sitting on top of a, a plywood truck. Um, the plywood looks awful. Looks, it feels really friable and horrible. So we're going to take that off and, and have a look, see what's underneath. Uh, it's just three screws. If I take these out carefully. Um, yeah, nice build-up of like in there, though. The screws are well seated. Um, and they're clearly in some oil-based mastic. Nothing, uh, no... No modern silicons here. This is all uh, still sticky after 35 years. Um, and doing its job quite well. You see it's still sticking to the, uh, the threads of the screw there. Right, let's get this light fitting off. It should just pop off, but clearly there's some mastic underneath it. Um, and it's well glued on there. That plywood truck looks like it's completely delaminating so if we give this a big prize off and yeah you can you can feel it as it comes off the the adhesion between the mastic and the upper layer of ply is far better than the ply itself um that's a right mess so i think that truck's got to come off completely um we can see uh, how much and if there's any damage the lighting cable runs freely it's nice and thick looks pretty good um, I'm going to probably use that uh, as a pull through for the for the VHF coax later. So I'm going to leave it in there, put a knot in the bottom end so it doesn't pull out. And then I will take up the top and just leave it freely running. That way I can pull the coax up later. So let's uh, clean up the top of this... Um, this truck exposed those screws so we can get out. It looks really horribly. It's just breaking off as I'm as I'm scraping it there. And there's clearly some rock inside that um, bottom screw as well. Yeah, this needs to come off. I need to make a new one. I've scraped out all of the rotten wood under there. Don't, I don't think it's gone through, but we need to get this off and have a look at what's happening uh, with the mast itself. So yeah, plywood delaminating again, that's gone completely. But the masthead itself doesn't look too bad, This it's clearly not rotten. Uh, yeah, this truck, it should be quite easy to make, it's just a little uh, disc of plywood. 
This masthead fitting is an original. Uh, originally it would have been a galvanized eye bolt and the eye bolt's there to take the uh, the peak halyard. This is a later addition, it's a stainless steel fitting and um, somebody's fitted a, an eye nut as well on the other side of it. it. It's quite a common upgrade and I believe this is how shrimpers are shipped now. The eye bolts or the eye nut rather gives you another place to put the the forestay. The forestay is then attached to the top of the mast, which gives you a lot more separation between the forestay and the furling jib. Um, but perhaps more importantly for me, it gives another little lug, it frees up that lug for a um, uh, for a second halyard. Lots of uh, opportunities to use that. So let's bite the bullet um, and have a look underneath this mass band, see what it's like. Shrimps are prone to uh, rot under here, apparently if there's any kind of water ingress. Uh, and this is a 35 year old mast. Now scraping a bit of the sealant off, the, the first impression is it looks pretty good. Um, it's a really tight fit by the looks of it. There's no sign of any water ingress at all. The bottom edge looks good, scraped a bit of the varnish away there. Again, no signs of any damage. Um, looking good so far. The other side of it, yeah, all solid wood. This is looking great. Um, I am going to take the mass band off, uh, which means getting those 35 year old nuts loose. They come off pretty easily. I didn't need a spanner on the, on the bolt, but the uh, the nuts were pretty loose on not loose but they were easy to get off just need to get the bolt out now so a good smack with the hammer should sort that out So here it is, 35 year old galvanized steel bolt. A little bit of surface corrosion, admittedly, but I don't think that's too bad. And that all bodes quite well for, for what's going on inside the mast, I think. Um, clearly I'll replace that one, but um, let's, let's have a go at getting this color off and, and seeing what the wood's like underneath. This is a job that's um, a lot easier to do with two hands. So I think what I really ought to do is put the camera down and get on with it. So here's the wood underneath. Again, really tight fit and that wood looks really good. I'm really pleased. Don't think there's anything I need to worry about there. I'll replace the mass band, seal it all up again, replace the bolt and I think we're good to go. So all in all, fairly happy with that. I mean, some work to be done, but it um, could have been an awful lot worse. The mast is basically solid and should last another 35 years easily. So what are we gonna do? Well, we're gonna let it all dry out for at least a month, strip off that varnish, uh, make a new cap, a new truck for the top of the mast. Um, I'm gonna clean those fittings, those galvanized fittings. And I've gotta seal it and varnish it all up again. And I've got a new um, VHF antenna to fit. So um, stay tuned and I'll tell you how it all goes. Bye for now. <laughs>